In this video, we're going to maximize the volume of a cylinder that's inside a right circular cone that in the height of the cone is 4 units and the radius of the cone is 8 units. So first off, it's always good to draw a picture of what's going on. So we can set up a function to model this situation. So here's our cone. The radius of the base is 8 units and the height is 4 units of the cone. Now we're going to be inscribing some cylinder inside. So we need to see what relationships we can pull out of this. Now the cylinder will have some height, we'll call it H, and we'll have some radius, we'll call it R. Well, first off, we're trying to maximize the volume of a cylinder well, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Next thing is we need to see if we have any relationships here so we can get this in terms of one variable. If we look at the cone directly from the side, we have a triangle. And our cylinder... Again, this is an arbitrary cylinder. I don't know that that's a maximum uh, volume, but it gives me something to work with. Now, I know the distance from here to here is 8, and I know the height is 4. I also know that this height is h, and this distance here is little r based on my drawing. Well, if you notice, this triangle here, and this larger triangle, oops, this is 8, are similar triangles. So we can use a property of similar triangles to get a relationship. Because here's the base of this triangle and the height. So the radius of the, or excuse me, the base of this large triangle, 8, is to the height of the large triangle, 4, as, now there's where it gets a little bit, we got to be a little careful. We're looking for this part of the triangle. This is going to be 8 minus r, because we this distance is r, this whole distance is 8. So this distance right here is 8 minus little r. So that's going to be that base of the small triangle. Now the height of the small triangle based on our diagram is just h. This is something we can solve for h. This is just equal to 2. And what we're going to find out is that 2h equals 8 minus r or that h equals 4 minus r over 2. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to get the volume of our cylinder in terms of one variable, because this becomes pi r squared times 4 minus r over 2. And we can go ahead and multiply that out. I'm going to leave the pi out front, because it's not going to make a difference when I go to um, minimize. Uh, we're going to have for r squared minus r cubed over 2. Now let's go ahead and take our derivative. So our v prime is pi times, I'm just going to do the derivative of this piece by piece, 8r minus 3r squared over 2, and now we find our critical points by setting this to 0, and we don't have to worry about any critical points coming from here. So what I'm going to do, 8r minus 3r squared over 2 equals 0. I can factor an r over there, out of there. So r equals 0 is a critical point, but it's not that critical to us, because if r is 0, there is no cone, there is no cylinder. So here's the one we're interested in. We're going to set that equal to 0. So 8 equals 3 over 2r. And we're going to solve that for r, which means r equals 16 over 3. And whatever our units are in. If this was, if this was in inches and in inches, this would be in inches. To find the corresponding height, we already have a relationship here. 4 minus the radius. So 16 over 3 divided by 2, which equals 4 minus. 
16 thirds divided by 2 is 8 thirds, so we have 12 thirds minus 8 thirds, which is 4 thirds, and there's going to be the dimensions of the cylinder of minimum volume. Now, let's verify that this is in fact a minimum. What I'm going to do, or excuse me, maximum, maximum. Uh, we're going to look at V double prime, and that's going to be pi times 8 minus, derivative of this, when you bring the 2 down, it's going to cancel out with that 2, so minus 3R. So what I want to do is evaluate V double prime at R equals 16 thirds. And what that gives me is, if you put in 16 thirds, you get 8 minus 16, or negative 8. Now there's a pi in there, so we should put that in there, negative 8 pi. Remember what that means, the second derivative is negative. Second derivative is negative, that means it's concave down. That means what we have, in fact, is giving us a maximum. So that's applying the second derivative test to verify that these dimensions give us the maximum volume on that cylinder.